This is Lieutenant Colonel Chuck Bees. I'm the Battalion Commander for 1st Battalion, 68th Armor Regiment, 3rd uh, Brigade Combat Team, 4th Infantry Division. So the last few days out of Mielno Range, we, my Alpha Company, which is a tank company, was participating in a force-on-force -force situational training exercise and a live fire exercise with the Polish Army, German Army, as part of the Caracol exercise, which comes underneath the umbrella of Defender Europe 22. The first portion of the exercise was the situational training exercise where our tanks and our vehicles put the MILES training system on, conduct force-on-force -force training as part of the Polish 10th Mech Infantry Brigade against a live OP4 or opposing force. And then the second portion of it was a live fire exercise, all constrained more to Mielno left range, which involved the tank company from Alpha 168 conducting live fire in conjunction with Alpha Troop of 410 Cavalry, artillery provided by the 2nd Cavalry Regiment, mechanized infantry from Polish 10th Mech Infantry, German Leopard tanks and Polish Hind D helicopters, Polish F-16s, Polish uh, Sukhois, ATGMs, and man pads as well. I'm Command Sergeant Major Gary John Kurtzals, and I'm the Command Sergeant Major for the 1st Battalion, 68th Armor Regiment, 3rd Armor Brigade Combat Team, 4th Infantry Division, Center Occupability. You know, at the end of the day, NATO is one giant friendly force that, if needed and called upon, is going to assemble, and it's going to assemble through a lot of different nations providing critical combat capabilities to a multinational force. Um, so one armed battalion is, 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 is very important to me. However, in the big, in the big scheme of things, attaching them to, a, to another country's C2 and employing them and sustaining them through sustained combat operations is critical to how we train the force. This exercise was important for several reasons. First, it allowed us an opportunity you know, being from Fort Carson, we don't generally at home station participate in many multinational training exercises. So this exercise for the majority of our soldiers was the very first time that they have ever participated in a training exercise that featured, uh, that featured training alongside our allied partners here in Europe. So for many of them, it was their first opportunity seeing in person uh, what their armored vehicles looked like that were not just tanks and Bradleys. It allowed them to experience coordination with our allies while working through the language barrier. Differences in how we approach tactical problems, our, tact our tactics, our techniques, our procedures. And so for the majority of the formation, this was a learning experience, not just for us, but also for the 10th, 10th Polish Mech Brigade as well. So, you know, it's also understanding each other's capabilities, uh, what each of us can bring to the to the fight, but it's also under, you know getting an idea of where you know what the limitations are and how we can use all of our respective strengths to compensate for weaknesses on the team to to yield a stronger and more effective cohesive team.